There are so many AI tools for research these days that it's very easy to get lost. Which one should you use for writing? Which one should you use for the literature review? Are these AI tools even allowed? Uh, is the use ethical? And if you have so many subscriptions to so many different AI tools, it just becomes really expensive at the end of the day. So what if there was just one tool that you could use for every single aspect practically of your research process from finding research questions and research gaps through designing your study, designing questionnaires, interviews, analyzing data to writing your text as well. Well, in this video, I want to show you exactly a tool like this, which I think is by far the best all-in-one AI tool for researchers. Now, if you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkovac and I run Academic English Now, where we help PhD students and researchers write and publish papers in top Scopus Index journals. And in this video, I want to talk about the tool called Avid Note. In my opinion, Avid Note is by far the best all-in-one tool for researchers that you can use at all stages of your research process. And I'm going to walk you through some of the best features that AvidNode um, has, and I think you'll very quickly see the potential um, of this tool. It's free to start with, and you can use the link in the description of this video to go to AvidNode. Um, if you're going to use it on a regular basis, you will need the paid plan, but I think what I would recommend to you is that you just start with the free plan to see if this tool is something that you're actually going to use on a regular basis. If you go for the paid plan, um, it's really cheap. I think it's about $19 um, a month and you can go get a further discount with um, the coupon code that's in the description to this video. But with that said, you know, let's go through some of the really cool features that um, Avid Note has. So the first place that I recommend you go to is AI snippets. And you can see here all the things that it allows you to do. I mean, there's, there's so much that it just boggles the mind. And a lot of it is actually really, really good. So for example, you know, at the beginning of the research process, well, what you need to do is, um, is find research aims, right? So it has a feature here, find ideas for new studies. So you could just go here and you know paste in your list of publications and ai will return suggestions for future research which i think is pretty neat you can also do a similar thing more manually where you you know you upload papers to your library and then um, you read them okay uh, and i would start by reading a systematic review and then you start finding gaps um, there as well. And I'll talk about reading papers in just a second, but I wanted to first show you uh, the AI snippets. So you can find new topics, but you can also identify research gaps. Okay, so you could just uh, click here and then uh, describe the research or paste in, you know, a text and then AI will uh, return potential um, research gaps um, for you in here. And then once you've found, you know, a potential topic, well, you'll need to explore the literature, okay? So that starts with having good keywords so you can start searching the literature. And again, AvidNote can generate those keywords for you provided that you um, explain what your research is um, about. Once you've done that and you know you're starting to find text, so you will, you will have to use other academic search engines to actually find those texts. Um, AvidNote does not have um, a search engine built in where you could actually use those keywords and find the text within AvidNote. However, once you've found your text, um, you can just go to your library and upload all the PDFs here. And this is much better using those PDFs than trying to use some other AI tools um, that might just, for example, scan the abstract of a text or the publicly visible information, because a lot of papers will be locked behind a paywall. So many of those AI tools that claim to give you, you know, summaries of research, they're not actually reading the whole paper, they're just reading the abstract, for example. So when you download PDFs yourself and then upload them to AvidNote, this allows AvidNote to read the whole text, and then you can chat with the PDF um, document. So then the answers will be much more accurate because AvidNote can actually understand what the text says. And in here, you're going to have, you know, generic document questions that you can ask. For example, you know, what was the research question um, that this paper um, had? 
um, what were what was the theoretical background, the methodology of that um, of that paper. Okay, uh, so those sort of basic questions that you'd probably be asking uh, about um, any paper, right? Limitations, implications, future research, and so on. Really cool feature, I think, is more uh, specific um, questions pertaining to that uh, specific uh, paper. Okay, uh, so basically, what Avidnote does is like it reads the paper, it pulls information from it, and then gives you sample questions about that uh, particular um, text. Okay, so we can ask one of those questions in here, and um, you'll get an answer. You can also type in any question that you want, just right here, and ask um, Avidnote. Now, what you can also do is if you if you go somewhere in the text, and then if you select uh, part of the text, okay. Um, and copy it, okay? Um, you can also then go um, go here, um, chat with document, and then you can explain this text. Okay, um, I think it would be so much better if like I could just select the text here and then click on explain, but that's not possible, so I have to actually paste it in here. But I think this is, you know, this is really cool as well, because oftentimes when you're reading text, you will find you know, passages that are just difficult to understand and then this allows you to, you know, just get a simple explanation and you could do more, like you could get a rewrite of this text, right? What is the opposite view? You could even translate it if you want it. So, you know, if you find it easier to understand um, academic literature in your first language, well, you could just get um, Avidnote to translate it. So that's how you can use Avidnote as well to um, read the literature. And then, you know, once you, you've read the literature, you've got the gap, you've got the study, well, you need to design the study as well. So in the AI snippet, you could go to method, okay? Um, and then um, you could get suggestions for research method, okay? So you would go here and then, you know, you need to describe your study in a lot of detail. So I would give, you know, the research gap that you've got, the aim of the study, um, you know, any theories that you're planning to use, any other ideas that you already have about the study. The more detail you give here, the better suggestions you're going to get from Avidnote. Um, but I think that's an awesome feature as well. Most AI tools don't have it. And when we're talking about the methodology, I should probably also mention that this tool has been designed by um, academics. So I spoke to uh, the co-founder of um, Avidnote and he's been in academia. So he actually understands the, the problems and the struggles that PhD students and researchers go through. So that's why you have so many really cool features here, right? You can suggest a hypothesis as well um, or a theoretical um, framework, which I think, you know, is awesome for designing the methodology, right? Now, um, when, you know, you've kind of designed the, the, the methodology that you're going to use, maybe, you know, let's say you're going to use interviews. So Avidnote can suggest interview questions. It can also suggest survey questions for you. So rather than, you know, spend weeks trying to think what the best survey questions would be for your study, you can just get that instantly with um, Avidnote. And of course, like with all of these suggestions, you have to use your own brain and your research knowledge to see if they're accurate. So don't just take this as the ultimate truth and then use it. You know, you, you are a researcher or a PhD student, so sift through this using your research knowledge. But it gives you a huge head start. It saves you literally days if, and sometimes weeks of very, very hard work. And then once you've got the data, what you can do with Avidnote is you can um, analyze uh, the data, okay? So for example, if you, um, if you go here and paste your data as a text, um, Avidnote will analyze that data uh, for you. Similarly, you know, if you have um, a qualitative study and if you've got um, interviews, you can analyze the interview here. You can code the interviews using grounded theory or you can define yourself how you want to analyze the data. You can do um, narrative analysis, analysis as well and analyze data with um, a framework. So um, lots of cool data analysis stuff um, in here. And then, you know, once you've, you've got your data, you know, you've analyzed it, you can also use Avidnote as a sort of, you know, all in writing tool. And it allows you to write any part of, um, of the paper um, in here. And you can also get a structure of the paper, like an outline um, to start with, okay? Um, so, you know, all in all, it just like walks you through the whole process of 
from you know starting and and getting the fir your first research idea through the literature review uh, designing your study analyzing the data writing the study and then of course you will want to publish your study right i'm assuming so what you can if you go to the publish section in ai snippets well it can um for example suggest a title for your paper it can suggest a journal um, it can suggest a research conference and again i want to highlight here that unlike chat gpt that you know is well known for um what are called hallucinations and just like inventing crazy things that don't exist this actually gives you um you know journals that exist and I've, I've checked it numerous times and so the suggestions that it gives you here for conferences, journals um, are really, really um, good. And then, you know, once you finish one study, you might want to, you know, get suggestions for further research and what you should focus on uh, next. So I think this is all in all, this is an awesome AI tool. As I said, it's free to start with. Um, if you want to go uh, for the paid version, use the coupon code um, in the description to get um, a discount. And if you'd like further tips on using AI ethically um, in academia, then I'd encourage you to join our free published researcher um, community. We also have a paid published researcher community, but I'm not here to sell you um, on anything. I just want to provide you with as much value um, as possible for free. So we've got a published researcher free community, which is basically for PhD students and researchers who want to become published researchers and get their ideas into top journals. So you can join it uh, following the link in the description um, to this video. And then if you go to the classroom, you're going to get bonus materials on how to use AI ethically in research and aside from that you will get to hang out with 564 other phd students and researchers all of whom are striving to become published researchers and who are getting awesome results like nazir who recently submitted um, his paper to a really good journal in his field and you can join that um, published researcher free community following the link in the description below and i'm really looking forward to seeing you there in the community